New enemies, old allies, and a deadly family feud. Challenges don't look to be any easier for John Wick in the fourth chapter of his revenge story. A little over halfway through the first full trailer for John Wick Chapter 4, John Wick approaches an outdoor table in Paris, behind which the Eiffel Tower looms large. There he sits across from the Marquis de Grémont in order to discuss the terms of an agreement that appears will grant Wick his freedom from the high table's pursuit. There's only one condition. He has to defeat the Marquis in single combat. Briefly visible during this short sequence are the presences of Winston behind Wick and Donnie Yen's cane on the Marquis' side of the table. This configuration offers a look at what seems to be the two principal factions in John Wick Chapter 4, with Winston notably backing Wick, despite what appeared to be an outright betrayal of his old friend at the end of Chapter 3, Parabellum. John Wick is also seen battling Kane at the trailer's conclusion, suggesting their fight might come near the film's climax. Given Kane's presence at the Marquis side earlier on in the trailer, it's likely this battle against Kane is directly relevant to the overarching conflict with the Marquis with Wick's freedom on the line. The final scenes of John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum saw the protagonist's long-term ally Winston shoot him over a balcony. The Continental owner wanted to keep his power, and he couldn't side with a rogue assassin who was being hunted down by all of the High Table's minions so he struck a deal with the adjudicator that unfortunately led to John having to take a tumble. The trailer for John Wick Chapter 4 seems to show John and Winston having a civilized conversation, suggesting that the former has forgiven his old ally's transgressions. At the same time, it's possible that Winston never intended to kill everyone's favorite dog-loving assassin in the first place. After all, Winston was hardly surprised when the adjudicator informed him that John had survived the aforementioned attack. Was it part of a plan that only he and John were in on? One particularly interesting aspect of the John Wick Chapter 4 trailer comes at the 1 minute and 3 second mark, when the ever-suave Winston and the ever-smug Bowery King appear to be exiting a subway train. The two characters have both offered assistance to John, but they're not exactly known to hang out together. The implication seems to be that they're together, and that there might even be some sort of alliance between the two. However, the short glimpse only shows the Bowery King exiting, leaving the actual nature of the situation deliciously unclear. Are the two on their way to have a stealthy meeting, perhaps summoned by John? Could Winston be tailing the Bowery King for some reason? Are both characters secretly super into crocheting, and this sort of stealthy transportation is the only way they can meet and make colorful hacky sacks without losing face in the hardcore world they live in? It's probably not that last one, but until further trailers of the movie sheds light on their travel's purpose, there's always hope. The High Table in the John Wick franchise is the mysterious organization that essentially runs a secretive world of assassins and organized crime. Although each movie reveals another aspect of this hidden world, the High Table is an incredibly powerful organization, and their word is essentially law. John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum features Wick attempting to clear his name after executing a member of the High Table on neutral ground, which is a grievous mistake in the eyes of this organization. For his actions, Wick is considered incommunicado, and a large bounty is placed on his head. After a bombastic finale in Parabellum, Wick escapes from the clutches of the High Table, and it seems as if he will still have to deal with them in John Wick Chapter 4. However, the trailer reveals that his family sits at the High Table. I don't sit at the table. Your family does. This could mean that he has a sibling or parent that wields this powerful authority, or it could be a reference to the Belarusians from Parabellum. This may be the reason why John has been able to survive such insurmountable odds time and time again. Either way, it seems like yet another dynamic has been interjected into the John Wick mythos, and it will be interesting to see if this new Wick family individual or group on the high table is a friend or foe. While the John Wick Chapter 4 trailer is filled with moments of chaos, intrigue, and nail-biting thrills, it does feature a cute nod to one of Keanu Reeves' most iconic performances to break the tension. A minute into the trailer, a freshly suited up Wick says, I'm going to need a gun. Reeves and Fishburne were first seen together in 1999's The Matrix. In the film, Reeves' character asks for guns. Lots of guns. The quick line of dialogue from Reeves' Neo has gone on to become synonymous with The Matrix, a film that, in part, is responsible for the John Wick franchise. The late 90s sci-fi flick saw Chad Stahelski taking on the role of Reeves' stunt double. Stahelski would later go on to become the martial arts stunt coordinator for the two back-to-back -back Matrix sequels. After a decade plus of stunt work, Stahelski decided his next challenge would be directing, roping in Reeves to headline the titular role in 2014's John Wick. The second flick in the franchise saw Morpheus actor Fishburne join the nefarious world of contract killings. Now all audiences need is an appearance from Carrie Ann Moss to complete the Matrix trinity. The line from the Matrix was previously referenced verbatim in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Guns. Lots of guns. Only time will tell just how many times Wick's fourth outing will reference the Wachowski sisters' game-changing sci-fi franchise. 